Hello, nature enthusiasts. Once again, welcome to Pest Comfort, where we explore the fascinating world of pests. Today, we're venturing into the realm of tiny yet significant creatures, ticks. Yes, these little arachnids are more than just a nuisance. They're a crucial part of our ecosystem and, unfortunately, carriers of various diseases. So let's learn about the different types of ticks and how we can coexist safely with them. Ticks are arachnids, relatives of spiders, and they have a complex life cycle that includes larva, nymph, and adult stages. They require blood meals to progress to each stage, making them potential transmitters of diseases. Here are the different types of ticks that are most encountered. Let's start with one of the most well-known ticks, the black-legged tick, often associated with Lyme disease, found mainly in wooded areas of the northeastern and midwestern United States. They have a two-year life cycle and are most active in warmer months. They can also transmit anaplasmosis, babesiosis, and Powassan disease. Next, meet the Lone Star Tick, easily recognized by the white dot on the female's back. These ticks, common in the southeastern and eastern United States, can cause ehrlichiosis, tularemia, and southern tick-associated rash illness, STARI. Interestingly, bites from the lone star tick can also lead to alpha-gal syndrome, a red meat allergy. The American dog tick prefers open, grassy areas and along walkways and trails. While it primarily targets dogs, it can also bite humans, transmitting diseases like Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. This species is most active in the spring, summer, and fall. Contrastingly, the brown dog tick is unique, as it can complete its entire life cycle indoors. It's found worldwide and is more of a nuisance since it can infest homes and kennels. While it prefers dogs, it's known to bite humans too, making it a concern for pet owners. This tick can transmit canine ehrlichiosis and babesiosis. In the Rocky Mountain states, the Rocky Mountain wood tick is a concern. It's a carrier of Rocky Mountain spotted fever and tularemia, it can pose serious health risks. The life cycle of the Rocky Mountain wood tick can take up to three years to complete. Moving to the Pacific coast, the western black-legged tick carries Lyme disease. Its habitat and behavior are quite like its eastern cousin, the black-legged tick. Lastly, let's not forget about soft ticks. Unlike their hard-shelled counterparts, soft ticks don't latch on for long periods. They transmit diseases like tick-borne relapsing fever, particularly in the western United States. An example of a soft tick is the pigeon tick, which is primarily found in bird nests and buildings frequented by birds. While ticks play a role in our ecosystem, it's crucial to protect ourselves. Always use tick repellents, wear appropriate clothing, and perform tick checks after outdoor activities. And if you find a tick, remove it promptly and safely. Understanding these tiny creatures allows us to respect their role in nature while safeguarding our health. If you find this video informative, give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe for more pest insights. Stay curious and see you in the next one.